Hello, my name is Diane Bish, and I would like to welcome you today to The Joy of Music as we bring you a program of favorite hymns and gospel songs. These songs of faith bring joy, encouragement, and peace to those who hear their soaring melodies and inspired words. The organ, as varied in mood and color as the hymns themselves, is the chosen instrument for making these words and music come alive. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. For the redeemed of the Lord, those who have committed their lives to Jesus Christ, the prayer of the heart should be, Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Lord, I want to be more loving. Lord, I want to be more holy. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart, in my heart.
music and the songs of thousands of voices and instruments will be a thrilling part of the glory of heaven as the redeemed give praise to the Lamb. Revelation 14.2 reads, And I heard a voice from heaven like the voice of many waters, like the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harps, and they sang, as it were, a new song before the throne. Hark, 10,000 harps and voices, sound the note of praise above. Jesus reigns and heaven rejoices. Jesus reigns, the God of love. See, he sits on yonder throne. Jesus rules the world alone. Alleluia, 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 amen. Savior, hasten thine appearing. Bring, oh, bring the glorious day. When the awful summons hearing, heaven and earth shall pass away. Then with golden harps we'll sing. Glory, glory to our King. Alleluia. 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 Amen. The hymn, This is My Father's World, was written by Maltby Babcock in 1901. Dr. Babcock was a great admirer of nature and always before taking his daily walks near Lake Ontario would express, I'm going out to see my father's world. And so he wrote the words, This is my father's world, and to my listening ears, all nature sings and round me rings the music of the spheres. This is my father's world. I rest me in the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas. His hand, the wonders wrought.
the scriptures tell us that angels in heaven rejoice over one sinner that repenteth, and his name is added to the book of life. That rejoicing is heard in this old gospel tune. There's a new name written down in glory, and it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. This is a hand-clapping, toe-tapping song of praise and joy for the new creature in Christ Jesus. has been the inspiration for many hymn texts. The Bible speaks of heaven as the promised land, and only the redeemed of the Lord will be there. Music from the Southern Harmony in 1835 has given us the old gospel tune with words from 1787, which describe the soul's longing for heaven. On Jordan's stormy banks I stand and cast a wishful eye to Canaan's fair and happy land, where my possessions lie. I am bound for the promised land. Oh, won't you come and go with me? I am bound for the promised land.
1 Corinthians tells us that for the Christian, Christ is our strength and our rock. One of the most popular hymns ever written is Rock of Ages. It is described as a hymn that meets the spiritual needs of all sorts and conditions of men. From the derelict snatched from the gutter by the Salvation Army to Prime Minister Gladstone at whose funeral it echoed through the dim spaces of Westminster Abbey. Rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program of favorite hymns of faith and gospel songs, melodies and texts which inspire and bring us hope, joy, and encouragement. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the joy of music.